Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and as we all know, the MacBook Air does not have an internal optical drive. So there are two other options to get around this. One of them is purchasing an external USB drive from Apple for $79, or you can borrow the optical drive of a computer on your home network. And this works with both Windows and Mac, so I'm going to show you how to do both. So first, let's take a look at the Mac. On the Mac, go to System Preferences and select Sharing. And under sharing, select DVD or CD sharing. You'll also have the option to be prompted before allowing access to the optical drive. On a Windows machine, go to start and simply type in DVD. Once you do this, this will get you to the DVD or CD sharing options control panel and select enable DVD or CD sharing. You can also ask to be prompted before allowing access. For this demo, I'm going to be using DVDs from the Caprica series, one in my HP laptop and one in my iMac, but you can use any sort of media format, from music to data. Now if I go back to my MacBook Air, you'll see that both DVDs have automatically mounted to the desktop, so I can go ahead and open them and navigate them as if they were just regular folders on the computer. In this case, I'm dragging and dropping one of the folders in order to play Caprica on VLC. Now I should point out that because I'm using screen recording software, the video looks choppy in this presentation. However, it's quite smooth and looks like it would just on a regular computer playing through its own DVD drive. There is some time for buffering, so it's not instantaneous. So when you go to play a DVD or to load the contents of something, it does take a little more time. Of course, you can also go directly to Finder to navigate to the remote disks as well. Of course, you see I have two here, one from the iMac and one from an HP. I think it's kind of funny that the HP actually has an image of an old CRT monitor with the blue screen of death on it. Very cute Apple. Now, if you had checked Ask before allowing use of the optical drive, you would have to go to a remote disk on the MacBook Air, select the host computer, select Ask to use, go back to the host computer, click Accept, and then the MacBook Air would finally have access to that drive. Now, it does take some time for the network to buffer the connection. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a demo of the remote disk feature for the MacBook Air. Thanks for watching.